Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams at Vocal Splendor Studios and today I'm going to talk to you about Skype voice lessons. Now I will be completely honest with you, when I first heard about people giving Skype lessons I was very skeptical. Um, so much of what we do in the voice studio is working one-on-one -on -one and getting to know each other and using our ears and being able to really make adjustments. Sometimes you even have to go up and adjust people's face or their posture. So I really wasn't sure how it would work. Well, let me tell you, I've had several students that have done Skype, both um, students long distance and also current students that have done Skype lessons. And to be honest, I am completely shocked at how much I enjoy Skype lessons. I have found it to be quite effective if everybody has good connections. Um, if there's a problem with the connection or if you're using an external uh, webcam that's having problems, it isn't going to work. But if everybody's connection works well, we have a good live connection, Skype can be really effective. And here's why I think it's even better in some ways than live lessons. One of the things that's very important for students to do is sing into the mirror and look at their face and their posture when we sing. Just like dancers use mirrors to check their alignment, making sure they have good posture, it's really helpful for singers to look in a mirror and look at their jaw and look at their posture and get to the point where they can see themselves, let alone looking at their presence. Watching mirrors is one of the hardest things to do. I had many teachers making me do my whole lesson standing in front of the mirror. And it's torture, to be quite honest. But once you learn to look for what you're looking for, which is relaxation, jaw position, posture, it becomes a lot easier. Well, when you do Skype, we've got that double camera. And the double camera gives us a direct visual with the teacher, what I'm trying to show people how to do. And then you see the mirror imaging for yourself. So I find that incredibly helpful to learn and to, to work with Skype. Now, the way Skype works in my studio is, first of all, contact me and we set up a lesson. Um, now, before we do an official paid lesson, I always do a free connection. I think we need to um, add each other on Skype. We need to set up a connection, say hello, see how the lighting is, see how it works before we actually set up a lesson because it's really important that our equipment works because if the equipment isn't working correctly, it's just not going to work. So after we make that initial setup, we add each other, we go through the Skype um, connection, I don't pay for that. Then at that point, you send me an email, you send me a PayPal or you go to my PayPal website and pay for my website, PayPal for a lesson, whether it's a half an hour or 60 minutes. and. When you pay for that, then at that point, or even before, we'll actually schedule a time that we're going to do the official lesson. So you go through PayPal, you pay for the lesson, we sign up for the lesson, we do the lesson through Skype. And that's how it works. Um, I know I have another student who's figured out how to record from Skype. Perhaps you could record through your laptop into the Skype program. It's a very great technology. And to be honest, I really feel that in-person lessons are the best. Um, there's no, um, that's really the best opportunity to bond with somebody and get to know them and get that feedback. However, for people who live in very remote places, I had a student in Bulgaria or in rural areas where there simply is no voice teacher around, then I think Skype lessons are a great fallback. Um, I've also done Skype lessons with my own students who for some reason weren't able to commute or it was a real problem to get through the traffic. I live in the greater Seattle area. So we still were able to cover a lot with Skype and with the other resources on the computer. It's really helpful. It's a great way to learn and I think it's better to get lessons than to not get lessons. So if you are on the fence about considering doing Skype lessons, I encourage you to consider it. Give it a shot. Um, I'm very open to it as long as it's not 3 in the morning. I will not teach a lesson then. So um, that's it for Vocal Splendor t today, and I look forward to hearing your questions and comments. All right, take care. Bye.